I am a woman, and as a woman, I menstruate every month without fail. And by the fourth or fifth day of my period, I would always get an extreme itch down there, and I didn't know why. It took me eight years to realize that the cause of my problem was actually this, a menstrual pad. Ladies, this problem can affect all of you, and men, this problem affects you when you're asked to buy one for your lady. <laughs> <laughs> I have researched this topic extensively, and today I'm going to convince you why menstrual pads and disposable tampons are bad for your health. I'm going to talk about the harmful chemicals that are found in these pads and tampons, the health consequences that come from using them, and possible alternatives that you can use. So first, the harmful chemicals that are found in disposable menstrual pads and tampons. According to Dr. Nicola, there was a lady who burned a disposable pad. And when the smoke came out, it came out black. And this is the video, a picture from the video. And what this means is that there's something toxic that's found inside these pads. And when researched, she found out that you see this pristine, clean, white look? It's actually from being bleached with chlorine. And a byproduct that comes with the chlorine is dioxin. And dioxin is highly toxic, and it's a known carcinogenic, according to the World Health Organization. It is not safe to be exposed to dioxin at all. And we don't know what other harmful chemicals are found in these products. And second, there are health consequences that come from using them. I said before that I get rashes from using one of these. But there are more severe consequences. According to what I said earlier about the dioxin, I found on Mar Dr. Mercola, he said that using these over time, the dioxin can actually collect in your fatty tissues. And the long-term consequences are abnormal cell growth in your abdomen and your reproductive organs, a suppressed immune system, and also disrupted hormonal system. And also, the tampons that you, got, that you ladies use, they can cause micro tears in the walls of the vagina, and in these tears, the bacteria can enter and grow. And this can lead to a life-threatening condition called toxic shock syndrome. There is a model called Lauren Glasner, and she left it in her over in herself overnight, and then she had the syndrome, and she had to amputate her right leg. Mm -hmm. And then third, possible alternatives. You see, the skin is the largest organ in your body, and it's also the thinnest and highly permeable, so chemicals can pass through it. I don't know about you, but I don't want anything toxic to pass through my skin, and I don't want to have any health problems either. So I was looking for alternatives, and what I use now personally is this cloth menstrual pad, and it's really cute, it's softer than this, and it feels just like underwear. And from using it, I realized that blood actually has no smell. The nasty smell, the stench that you smell from a used, <laughs> it smells really bad, that you, you smell like from a used tampon or, or pad, it's actually from the reaction between the blood and the toxic chemicals found in them. So it's really bad for you. And then other alternatives are menstrual cups. So the Diva cup is the most popular one. It's always found in magazines. And also disposable organic pads and disposable organic tampons. So in conclusion, disposable pads and tampons are really bad for your health. They're, they contain highly toxic chemicals. You, there's a rare chance that you can get the toxic shock syndrome. And there are much better, safer alternatives out there. So now that you guys know about this information, it's up to you to choose. right? But I highly urge you to use something that's reusable and much safer for your body. And then, I urge you to convince your lady to use one of these, and if you do, you'll never have to run to a convenience store ever again.